Why will the Boeing 777X be the last major airliner of its kind? The Boeing 777X is leaving the aviation business, and here's why. The Boeing 777X is one of the most anticipated aircraft with a debut in 2023-2024. This type was supposed to enter service in 2020, but was unable to do so owing to the COVID-19 travel slowdown. Could the 777X, however, be the final huge jet of its kind, given the current market's shifting need for smaller planes? Hello folks and welcome back to Aviation News. Today, in this exhilarating video, we'll be sharing why B777X will be the last one of its kind and all the other details. So make sure to stay tuned until the end. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out any updates or videos from us. That said, let's get started. The aviation industry has evolved, and large aircraft are no longer fashionable. There's a growing desire for smaller aircraft, which are gradually replacing wide, large-body aircraft. The 777X bigger variant has a two-class layout with seating for up to 426 passengers and a range of 13,500 kilometers. The Boeing 777X is undoubtedly anticipated, and once in service, it is expected to be a huge success. But the truth is that the 777X may be the last large airliner of its kind. Airliners are beginning to push for smaller planes that can travel further, and demand for smaller planes is expected to continue to rise unless there is a significant change in aircraft engine technology. Experts have chimed in on the subject of future demand, with aviation experts predicting that smaller planes such as the Boeing 767 and Airbus A321 XLR will be more common than the Boeing 777X. The Boeing 777X, which is unique in its own right, has a new engine designed by GE Aviation. The GE9X is the world's most powerful jet engine and is also the most fuel-efficient. It's big like the planes for which it was designed, but it's also lighter than its predecessor, the GE90, which was designed for the 777. That doesn't mean it's no longer powerful. The GE9X was meant to produce 100,000 pounds of thrust, which is more than the first manned space journey of the United States. When not in flight, the Boeing 777X boasts noteworthy features such as foldable wingtips to provide access to airport gates of any size. The 777X's feature is said to alter the way airplanes are built, created in the future, as it has set a new benchmark for the aviation industry. While the 777X has a 12% fuel savings capability and a 10% reduction in operating costs due to standardization, it is disappointing that will not be able to see these types of aircraft in the future. After the pandemic's ease of lockdown, airlines began to see more reasons to deploy smaller planes for their normal operations, as financial concerns related to the pandemic's longer-term effects on the aviation industry became apparent. Smaller planes rather than the larger airliner began to see an increase in demand and usage. The fact that Airbus isn't working on a clean-sheet competition is the first hint that the Boeing 777X will be one of the last of its kind. Instead, a re-engineered version of the Airbus A350 may be the competitor. However, this doesn't mean that things will change in the future. For the time being, the A321 XLR is the priority. Smaller aircraft are now a big deal because they're ideal for point-to-point -point services, and they're also less expensive to operate, which the majority of airlines are considering due to the global economic uncertainty. Where larger bodies aircraft are more commonly utilized, smaller bodies are beginning to take their place, potentially leading to the demise of larger bodies aircraft like the Boeing 777X. The Boeing 777X variants like the 7778 and 7779 are anticipated to cost $410.2 million and $442.2 million respectively, with the 7778 seating 384 passengers and the 7779 seating 426 passengers. The Boeing 7778 has a range of up to 8,730 miles or 16,170 kilometers, while the 7779 has a range of 7,285 miles. The aircraft measures 229 feet and 251 feet 9 inches in length with a cabin width of 5.96 meters, a tail height of 19.48 meters, and a cabin width of 5.96 meters. When Boeing first announced plans for the 777X in 2011, it was in a reaction to the Airbus A350 family. The planes were supposed to come in three different versions, each expected to replace a previous 777 airliner. 
the 777-900ER would be replaced by the 7779, which would have a longer fuselage and compete with the A350-1000. The 7778 would succeed the successful A350-900 and replace the aging 777-200ERs. The 777-8LR, a replacement for the ultra-long-range 777-200LR and an alternative to the A350-900QLR, was the final variant. However, Boeing has reduced the number of 777X variants to two, eliminating the 8LX. Boeing made significant design improvements to the 777X, although several features were left unchanged. For example, the latest 777s will keep the original metal fuselage rather than the newer carbon composite layout seen on the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. The wing shape of the B777X is perhaps its most distinctive features. The wings for this aircraft are 71.75 meters long and made of carbon composites, 235.4 feet. This results in increased aerodynamic efficiency, wing flex, and significant fuel savings. The folding wingtips are, without a question, the most iconic characteristics of the wings. The 6.9-meter folding wingtips lower the massive wingspan from 71.75 meters to 64.85 meters, which is the same as the previous 777s. This implies that airports will not need to modify gates to suit the 777X, and it'll be able to fit into regular Code E airport standards rather than the A380's Code F gates. These folding wings are also interesting because they allow the aviation industry to experiment with a new form of design. The Boeing 777X technology has been in development for 15 years and has already been tested in numerous wind tunnels across the United States. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, Boeing had identified its market for the 777X with the majority of airlines planning to replace their aging four-engine aircraft with the Boeing 777X because of its high operational capacity. However, due to the pandemic, airlines that wanted the 777X were no longer interested as they couldn't see the purpose of purchasing 400-plus seater passenger jets at a time when long-haul flying is at an all-time low. Now, when I think about the airplane 777X, this airplane is going to have an amazing cost advantage per seat, per volumetric figures for freight, and there will always be routes who want an airplane of this size and scale, stated Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun. It'll go for 40 or 50 years, and I believe it'll be one of the greatest runs ever. I have a lot of faith in it. It is frequently overlooked. Oh, and it was postponed. Is it something they wish to do? It's the polar opposite. It's fantastic. Would like to do it. But given the reality of the pandemic's impact on the aviation industry and the uncertainty of when things will return to normal, the 777X and its ilk may well be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Is the Boeing 777X and its massive giant airliner capable of withstanding the uncertainty that the aviation industry has for them? Or is this type of aircraft doomed? Is the 777X the last of its kind to return to the original question? No, although it's one of the last options. Without significant advancements in engine technology, airlines will continue to push for smaller planes that can travel longer. In the future, planes like the 787 and A321 XLR will likely outnumber the 777X. The fact that Airbus is not embarking on a clean sheet competitor today is the first hint that the 777X is likely to be one of the last of its class. Instead, a re-engineered version of the A350 could be the competition. However, this does not imply that things will change in the future. Rather, the A321XLR is the priority for the time being. The order numbers for the 777X reflect this. The smaller 7778 has received few orders, prompting speculation that it may be cancelled. The 7779 has practically all of the 320 passenger plane orders, and there don't appear to be many more coming soon. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Aviation News, for more such exciting content. Also, let's know your thoughts about B777X in the comment section.